rhetoric about a constant drumbeat of heated language. Well, as I'm sure everyone ex watching expected, we need to show you some of their own words. I, I, I just don't even know why there aren't uprisings all over the country, and maybe there will be. There needs to be unrest in the streets for as long as there is unrest in our lives. You've got to be ready to throw a punch. Well, you have to be ready to throw a punch. Donald Trump, I think you need to go back and, and punch him in the face. That I thought he should have punched him in the face. I feel like punching him. I think I'd like to take him behind the gym if I were in high school. If we were in high school, I'd take him behind the gym and beat the hell out of him. No, I wish we were in high school, I could take him behind the gym. I will go and take Trump out tonight. Take him out now. Okay. When was the last time an actor assassinated a president? They're still going to have to go out and put a bullet in Donald Trump. Show me where it says that protests are supposed to be polite and peaceful. I have thought an awful lot about blowing up the White House. Please. Get up in the face of some Congress people. People will do what they do. I want to tell you, Gorsuch, I want to tell you, Kavanaugh, you have released the whirlwind, and you will pay the price. We're going to go in there, we're going to <laughs> well, This is just a warning to you Trumpers. Be careful. Walk lightly. And for those of you who are soldiers, make them pay. If you had to be stuck in an elevator with either President Trump, Mike Pence, or Jeff Sessions, who would it be? Does one of us have to come out alive? <laughs> <laughs> and there's more. I promise to fight every single day. One, I, I'm a fighter and I'm relentless. But I'm a fighter and I'm relentless. A fighter and I'm relentless. I will fight like hell. But the way I see it now is that we pick ourselves up and we fight back. That's what I think it's all about. We stand up and we fight back. We do not back down. We do not compromise. Not today, not tomorrow, not ever. You can either lie down, you can, you can whimper, you can pull up in a ball, you can decide to move to Canada, or you can stand your ground and fight back. And, and that's what it's about. We, we do fight back, but we are going to fight back. We are not turning this country over to what Donald Trump has sold. We are just not. Look, people are upset and they're right to be upset. Now we can whimper, we can whine, or we can fight back. Me, I'm here to fight back. I'm here to fight back because we will not forget. <clears throat> we do not want to forget. We will use that vision to make sure that we fight harder, we fight tougher, and we fight more passionately for than ever. We still have a fight on our hands. Fight hard for the changes Americans are demanding. Get in the fight, to winning the fight, to fight fighting, please fighting. We'll use every tool possible to fight for this change. We'll fight, we'll fight, to fight fighting hard. Serious about fighting and fight. We gotta get on our front foot and fight back. Problems, we call them out and we fight back. I'm in this fight. I am fighting. I am fighting. Get in this fight. Get in this fight. Get in this fight. And fighting. We all need to be in the fight. We all need to stay in the fight. We stay in this fight. We fought back. We fought back. I am not afraid of a fight. I am in this fight all the way. You don't get what you don't fight for. Our fight our fight. We are in this fight for our lives. This is the fight of our lives. But we are going to make sure that this fight does not end tonight. This is a fight for our lives, the lives of our friends and family members and neighbors. It is a fight, fight, and it is a fight that we're going to work to make sure continues. It's a fight. It is a fight. It is a fight. And that's what this fight is for. Well, I'm wired to fight anyone who isn't doing their job for us. I'm John Tester, and you damn right.